morning, guys. So let's start the event with prayer song by Hamsini. Hello. Um, so should I start? Yes, please. Yeah. Om Asmat Guru Bhyo Namaha. Om Namah Paramarishi Bhyo. Namah Paramarishi Bhyo. Om. Uh, um, Namah Paramar Shibyo, Namah Paramar Shibyaha, Namah Om, Namah Paramar Shibyo, Namah Paramar Shibyaha, Om, Purnamidam, Purnamadaha, Purnat, Purnamudachate, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnameva Shishate, Om, Isa Vasem in the Gumsavam, Yet King Jagatyam Jagat, then a tek then a bunji taha, Margaret Cassius with the num, Cassia Pan by a Sanjatam, Nara Yenapadashitam, three Mandara and Umbande, Yetish was Yadisham. Thank you, Hamsuni. Now I would like to introduce our uh, chief guest. Madam Mrs. Uh, Maitli Sundar, welcome, ma'am. We are honored by your presence. Hi. 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 Hi, everyone. Hi, kids. So, so before we start the program, uh, I definitely take privilege to uh, let you know about our uh, chief guest. Ma'am, she's a senior senior journalist with 15 plus years of experience with a Hindu, which was uh, which is India's national newspaper. And she retired as an associate editor. She was holding various responsibilities. As I told you during the classes, this is how a media works. So you will have a reporter who will get in all news and as to simply to say, so and editors who will edit the news to the time space given for them, provided if it's a newspaper, it is a column space that is given for them. If it's a TV channel, it is a time space allotted for them. So they'll edit the news. And they will present and news readers will present the news here. Uh, our kids will be doing all. Uh, we have just given them a small thing about how media works and they have played all the. They have tried to play all the three roles, ma'am. Okay. So. And uh, yes, coming to ma'am again, she was holding responsibilities of all the three, which I told you. So she was monitoring the stories from the reporters, editing them and making pages and tracking news like from the news agencies they'll get news and news and photographs so she'll be uh, tracking them and she will decide upon which article has to be taken up in the pages and uh, as you know in newspaper if you see you will have many different pages so she was handling uh, editorial pages national and uh, regional pages of it and before that as a freelancer uh, she has contributed many articles on human rights women and children to leading publications like Indian Express and Times of India. And also she has she is well equipped with multiple degrees in the field of journalism. And she nailed her uh, with her paper presentations as a panel member and seminars on social issues organized by international universities. And as a guest lecturer also she has handled classes on editing Indian constitution and political science in many government and private institutes institutions. Ma'am, we are really honored to have you here with us, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. I'm also happy to be here. Thank you, ma'am. So let's, uh, so I'll have Kirtana to present her work today. So let's start with Kirtana. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to present it or you're just going to talk Kirtana? Kirtana um, from the press, yeah. I'm just going to talk. Yes, please, uh, make it louder, Kirtana. Um, maybe you can I share my screen so like so people yes, can please. Yeah, you can share your screen if that works. For the past few years, many climate changes has been happening and has made a lot of natural disasters like hurricanes, tornadoes and floods. Some places that are supposed to be warm are getting slightly chilly, and some places that are chilly are getting a little bit of heat waves. This is because of the heat waves that has been happening in the north, north and south pole. 
Many people have not been taking this seriously, and there is not much awareness. Due to, due to these unexpected snowflakes and heat waves, many roads are getting risky or playing in the daytime has been tiring. To reduce these effects, please recycle, try composting, and don't buy unnecessary, unnecessary things and have a garden compostary, whether it's in a Ziploc bag or a pot inside your house, or even a ginormous garden. Mother Earth will definitely respect you if you do these. If you can't afford to do gardening, follow the nature protocols. Hope you share this news with everyone. Stay safe and be aware of nature situations. I think this is about global warming. Yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am, for your comments, please. Kirtana, right? The girl yes. this. Yeah. Yes. Kirtana, uh, there are two types of writing. One is when you write for textbooks and when you write essays. And the other is how you write in the form of news. Now, what you have written will probably go into some page in which we take opinions and articles. Okay, not in the news page. So yes, uh, climate change is uh, a serious cause for concern. And uh, maybe when you write about it, you could include more of the effects. You have just said that some places get uh, more cold and some places get more warm. Suppose you could add things like, you know, what has happened? Give examples. It's one thing to say that, you know, these things can happen. But if you include an example like, uh, say, the tornado that uh, hit the U.S. or if you talk about the uh, venting of the Himalayan glaciers much earlier than, you know, uh, they're supposed to melt and how it could affect the perennial rivers in India. Or if you can talk about, say, the, you know, the, uh, the impact on any one uh, community, you know, which is very dependent, which is dependent on the climate in which it survives, then this becomes more effective. What you have written will become more effective. So always, when you write about an issue, it is important to explain the issue and then you have to give one or two examples with which the reader can relate. Because when you, this is, this is you know, very good. It's a good attempt, no doubt. But it reads more like a school or college essay. When you want to make it something that everyone should read. See, what you should remember is, a newspaper is read by everyone. It is not read only by a, a group of people who understand the concept. Okay? See, you assume that the person who is reading what you have written understands what you have written, understands the issue. But that is not so. When you write something, it should be, uh, you know, it, the person, even a person who is not familiar with the issue should be able to understand. So if you give an example, then the person will immediately relate. Suppose you say extraordinarily hot summers, then the person will immediately get, oh, yes, now I am, the summers are becoming more, uh, you know, more difficult to bear compared to, say, a person of my age, for example, I am 57 years old. So I will be able to relate to the relatively bearable summers in the past as one thing could be my age. Maybe I am no longer able to bear the heat. But it is also true that global warming has played a very important role. And also, if you remember the extraordinary showers that we had in Chennai, that again has been attributed to global warming. So give more of examples and you can uh, add value to what you have written. Okay. Okay. Best wishes, Keetna, and wish you write more. We are we are happy to hear you more hear, hear uh, more from you. Thank you, Keetana. And uh, yeah, next comes uh, Akshata. Akshata, uh, I'll share my screen. She has sent me the video, but she is also present in the event as well. Akshata, yes.
Yeah, Akshata has covered her uh, school event, a spirit day which was conducted in her school. And she's in grade one, ma'am. Okay. Hi, Akshata. Are you there? Yeah, hi. Oh, hi. Okay. So where is Orinko? Orinko's um, near um, Orinko Meadows. Yeah, where? Which part of the world is it in? Huh? Hillsborough, Oregon. Hillsborough, Oregon. Okay. So, can I have the thing again? The, the what yes. she has written. I would like to see that. Yeah. Yes. So, when you say Orenko Meadows, you also have to say the Orenko Elementary School or Elementary. In which part of the world? Because you know where you live, and people who are close to you know where you live. But for somebody like me, I don't know where this place is situated. So you have to mention in this at the very start. Okay. That, okay. And okay. you have to say where it is located and when. When was it done? Okay, you have given the date line on top. You have written 28 February. Which year? Okay. So you will have to say on Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, whatever day of the uh, week it was. Kids. Okay. Generally, I don't know, I don't know about American press, but generally kids is a very casual usage. We say children. Okay. Kids is when you talk, it sounds okay. But when you write, we generally say in any serious newspaper, you will find that it says children and not kids. Okay. We are asked to dress up like animals and big stuffed animals. Okay. okay. So by the way, I can't really see the screen. You can't see the screen. I'll put it on screen. Yeah. So how may listen to this. On the, the uh, Orinco Elementary conducted Spirit Day on whether it was uh, Wednesday or Thursday or something, where children were asked to dress up like animals and bring stuff animals. The okay. next sentence will be why? Why was it asked? What was the occasion? The reader will wonder. So what you have written at the end should come in the beginning. The event was celebrated to boost the spirit of Orenko that imparts happiness in learning and education. But why animals? Why did they ask for animals? There must be some reason for that. Um. They, they asked for animals because each spirit day you can do animals or you can do colors or you can do anything that can um that can be colorful um yeah anything that can be colorful okay so then you could say that the event was the event mark the celebration of colors Okay, and then you can talk about what was uh, what the colorful animal parade included, and uh, yeah, boost the spirit of Orenko that imparts happiness in learning and education. The children okay. and teachers gave okay. their best and had a quality. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. It's a learning for me as well because it was I who helped her doing this document. Thank you, ma'am. Even okay. I learned from this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ashita. So you presented it well. So next time I hear all the information that is imparted by my by ma'am in your documents. Okay, good. So I'll I'm also learning from this. So can I call upon uh, Hamsini? Hi, Hamsini. Hamsini is also from US. So I have a, a video on uh, endangered animals. I will present the video and put it on uh, mute because she was. Uh, she said she'll not be attending the event and she gave me the document, but thankfully she's attending the event today. So I'll put that on mute and she'll talk on that. Uh, yeah. Auntie, can, um, Auntie, can I? Uh, 
Uh, auntie, can you unmute it? I, I, um, I don't think I can talk like that fast like I did before. Okay, I'll play the video then. I I don't think you're sharing the sound. I can't hear you. One second. I'll share the screen. Sorry, I'll have to put it on compound screen. Just. Endangered animals by me, Humpsini. Red pandas. Did you know that there are only 10,000 10, red pandas left on the world? Their primary threat threats are habit loss and dehydration, human human interference, and poaching from national zoo. Red pandas. Where do red pandas live? They live in eastern Himalayas, like China, Nepal, and Bhutan. They spend most of the time in trees. From world, worldwildlife.org. How many blue whales are left on the world? Well, there are only 10,000 to 25,000 blue whales left in the world. From AmericanOceans.org. Why is it? Why are blue whales being endangered? The primary threats blue whales currently currently faced currently face are vest, vessel strikes and, and entanglements in fishing gear. From www.fisheriesnoaa.gov. Well, where do where, where do blue whales live? They will they. Blue whales are found in all oceans except the Arctic. Thank you. Okay. Your name is Akshata, right? Hamsini, ma'am. Hamsini. Hamsini, uh, you, it's a good effort. And the topic is also good. But uh, whatever you have written, you have taken a quotation and you have acknowledged the source from which you have taken the quotation. That looks like just, you know, a few points that you are doing. When you're talking about endangered animals, uh, mammals or fish or any other, you first have to talk about what is an endangered animal or what is an endangered species. As I said, don't assume that everybody knows. You know it, people who think similarly, educated people, they know what is an endangered species. But a common reader could be, say, a standard five reader in some part of rural India. They do not know what is an endangered species. So first you have to say, begin by saying that, you know, it is a cause for concern that a lot of uh, animals and reptiles and birds are slowly becoming extinct from the world, which is very serious because it disrupts the natural balance. And then you will talk about the meaning of endangered species. What is the definition of endangered species? It means some species which is gradually becoming extinct and there must be some a definition of what is an endangered species and then the common causes in some cases it could be climate change in some cases if you have read recently sparrows are becoming extinct because of the uh, mobile phone towers that are being erected and then some are becoming extinct because of poaching some are becoming extinct because the you know the, the, there is nothing to protect them the government does not have enough uh, 
policies in place to protect them. Some are, lo some are becoming extinct because their land has been taken away, the human-animal conflict, you will find that many human beings have occupied the animal habitats and they have nowhere to go. They, they stray into some human habitat and they are killed. Okay? So, these are the common. With each species, there may be one particular cause. But generally speaking, there are some common causes for the extinction. So, we will say that what is, you begin by saying many species are becoming endangered. It's a matter, it's a cause for concern. Then you talk about the definition of endangered. What does it mean by endangered species? Then you talk about the common causes of, uh, you know, why the number of animals or reptiles or, you know, fish is going down. And then you could use, you will say red panda is one such animal. That is how you have to give a connecting phrase to the main thing. So, it's a red panda is one such species. And then you say, according to the link that you have given, according to this source, only so many pandas are alive today. And they are mostly found in these regions. Another animal is the whale. You've spoken about the whale, right? And the whale also, the causes for, and finally, when you conclude, you have to say what can be done. See, merely stating the problem is one way of putting things. But you also have to conclude by saying, what should be done? What should the governments do? What is the responsibility of the people? It is not enough if only state brings a policy. It is also important for people to cooperate. Isn't it? So, if you add all this, it will become a wholesome report or a Am I making myself clear there? Uh, yes. So, rewrite it in such a way and see how you feel. Tell me whether you, tell me later at some point, whether you feel that the piece has improved by using all these inputs. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Yes, Tantani. Good. Yeah, can you call Aradhya now? And yeah, Ar before Aradhya, ma'am, uh, was it Akshita's presentation audible, ma'am? Because yeah, uh, yeah, it was audible. It was audible. Yeah, because uh, oh yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, I have to share my screen. Aradhya, can I do the presentation for you? I have your file. Oh, I, uh, can I do the presentation? Yeah, will you be able to share the share the screen? Yes. Yes. Aradhya, can you do that? Yeah, one minute. What can I do it for you? Okay, so uh, do you see it? No, we are not able to see. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So, hello and welcome to ADU. I am Aradhya Jakunam and I will be talking about Corona, a pandemic that changed the world. First, but we all know about Corona back then. How did it start? What is IT? The first case of Corona is said to have originated from Wuhan in China. People do not know whether it was man-made or came from an animal somewhere on the map. Hence the name COVID-19. I'm sorry, I'm not able to see the... Yes, ma'am, I'll do it for her, ma'am. I think she's not able to present it in a presentation more. I'll do it for her, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Aradhya, I'll, I'll share my screen, ma'am. You don't have to worry. Okay. Yes, Aradhya, you can talk. Can you do like a uh, uh, presentation mode? Yes, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, could you go from the start? Correct. Hello and welcome to Eat Me. I am not accepting. Can you take properly, please? What? Okay. Is this table? Please don't move on while you speak. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Eat Me. I'm Anna Vidrakanam and I will be talking about Corona, a pandemic that changed the world. First, we all know about Corona. Where did it start? Well, in 2019, the first case of Corona is said to have originated from Wuhan City, China. People do not know whether it was man-made or came from Adam, someone had devoured. That's the name COVID-19. The virus took over. The virus took over to China. Now, for an interesting part, Corona made China go to lockdown. But how did it become a pandemic? Well, a person who visited China was headed back to Seattle, but he didn't know that he was a transport of Corona to his homeland. We have no evidence of what happened then, but all we know is Corona came to its next target in the USA after conquering China. Now it's time to talk about masks. Masks are also a big feature in Corona history. But the virus when the virus spread, what the virus happened? spread innumerably, doctors decided to use masks. They were usually used for medical surgeries and disease. But when Corona struck, they found out this was a way to reduce the number of cases of Corona. Recently, more and more areas around the world have taken masks from all to But it might not be as safe. Well, now that you know about Corona, let's be honest. We all thought they were not the worst. We were proven wrong with Omicron. Omicron it was dead, way more deadly than Corona. When it came with Corona killings, within days, thousands of people died of being there. Now it's time to make a statement. And guess who? Vaccine! The vaccines have stayed in Asia for the number of people now that we Back to just like the three, but still second dose and then booster dose. Because they don't get booster and then they do not get their booster. At the, their vaccines at all. The vaccine Pfizer, Johnson and Johnson and Moderna are said to cure and keep Corona away, but Johnson and Johnson is proven to be infectious. Omicron and Corona are proven to be But most of the people are far as cold. They are so cold and by far the most deadly variant. It kills 2,000 million. Day. It's a very has the most deadly strain. We do not know much about it, but all we know is it's the same. Everyone thinks it's three variants, but it's there. Variants are kind of people say another variant. No. I just say it's just only. Who knows? I think it might be a new variant of about Corona, but I'm going to start to move too. This ends it for today, folks. I wish you have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching me. Yeah. Aradhya? Yeah, I would suggest one thing, Aradhya, the next time. It is, it, there is no harm in seeing the paper and then reading it, but you can put it on the screen because when you convey something, you will have to face the readers, okay? So we must have eye-to-eye -eye contact when you speak. So put it on your laptop screen and then read from it from next time, okay? Because uh, we could hear only bits and pieces. What do you say, ma'am? Yeah, the, uh, it was broken. The voice yeah. was breaking a lot. All we could hear is, uh, so she has just given, uh, she has given, so when did Corona start and what are the after effects of it and what are the measures taken by people? It, that is what I could find from her speech. Okay. I saw what she said about where it originated and she showed the Great Wall of China, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, yes, it did originate in China. No doubt about that. And how it traveled to the rest of the world. She said people who went to China brought it to other parts of the world. And also what I heard was she spoke about the impact of Corona. She said how it spreads. And now we have found vaccines. Am I right? Is that what she said? Yes, ma'am. Are you there, no? Yeah. No, there's a lot more, like uh, the vaccines, masks, other variants. Uh, I think you missed it. Yeah, your voice is not audible, dear. I'm sorry, but then 
I wish I could see it in writing. Can you send it to me by writing? Yes, because already you can send. You can scan the picture. You can take a picture of it and then send it to me in WhatsApp, or you can paste it and send it in Skype. Okay. okay. So we could see what you have written. Now next time, put it in a Word document on screen, and then you can present it so that we can relate to what you speak and the real content is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So even now you can send it to me in WhatsApp. I'll connect it. Okay. Okay. So we may be, uh, when the event finishes, I can just post it. Okay. Thank you, Aradhya. So you can send it to me right away. And I call upon Sai now. Sai, can you unmute and start your presentation? I have the document with yeah. me. I present it, Sai. Can yeah. I share it? No, no, I can do it. You can just oh. talk. I put the content. I have the content. Okay. I think, yeah. The Tasmanian Tiger. The Tasmanian tiger or thylacine. Hi, can you introduce yourself before you start? Huh? Can you introduce yourself? <laughs> oh, okay, right, sorry. My name is Sai and I'm in grade six. I live in Australia. Um, yeah. The Tasmanian tiger. The Tasmanian tiger or thylacine is an extinct marsupial from Tasmania, New Guinea and mainland Australia. Its scientific name is Thylacinus cynocephalus. It became extinct on 7th September 1936. The prey of a thylacine are birds, kangaroos, wombats, emus, possums, wolves, echidnas, betangs, bandicoots, potteroos, and small livestock. Recently, a group of researchers from the University of Melbourne are trying to bring the thylacine back from the dead. On March 1st, they announced that thylacine Integrated Genetic Restoration Research Lab, thanks to a $5 million donation. They're trying to bring back the thylacine because it could help them preserve biodiversity and possibly the ecosystems as a whole. Here are some other facts about the thylacine. Lifespan, eight to 10 years. Its predators are humans and dingoes. It weighs about 18 to 66 pounds. Its height is 24 inches at the shoulder. Length, 39 to 51 inches, plus 20 to 26 inches. What makes this news interesting? What is the takeaway from this? The most important point in this news, what is it? That scientists are br trying to bring back extinct animals. Ah. See, so many animals are becoming extinct. But what is so special about this animal? Five million dollars, right? It's not a small amount. Five million dollars have been given to do some genetic engineering right to bring yeah. back this animal to life to save it from extinction so that should be the main point that is what will make the reader interesting they will say oh five million dollars to bring an animal back from extinction it's unheard of at least for a lay reader for an average reader it is unheard of because we have spoken about many animals becoming extinct or on the verge of extinction. That is not the point here. Okay. It is serious that the tiger is becoming extinct. But the fact, what is the latest development on the issue is the fact that the scientists are using a lot of money and doing research and trying to revive the species. So you have to begin with that. And then talk about the species, what it is called, how much, why, why they became extinct, and what is the purpose? Why are the scientists doing this? See, the scientists are not actually. There is a huge debate about genetic engineering, isn't it? People are saying it is unethical on humans. So, if the scientists succeed in this, what will be the implications for the universe? Isn't it? That is important, isn't it? So you will say, you will begin by saying that in a, a in a experiment or in a 
dramatic move or in whatever the scientists of this 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 lab are trying to bring back an animal from extinction is it the first uh, go to the google and find out whether this is the first time it is being done because i don't know i have no idea whether it has been done in the past also it's been and done then, yeah yeah it's been done in the past but then you say no then you will have to include that also you say that such a thing has also been done successfully or not successfully to bring another species which species was brought back um the it's a type of ibex um i just had it what helps you with it is it yeah i i can i did some research about it okay yeah the pyrenean ibex so were they successful it was successful but it died after a few minutes ah few minutes so, yeah so all those things should be included in your report which makes it more interesting towards the end you can talk about what species the tasmanian tiger belongs to what were the causes for its extinction and you also have to say how significant this is in case this experiment is successful and we are able to revive the species then it could have a very significant implication for the universe and for the nature isn't it yeah, yeah. then your report will become more interesting instead of just saying that this is happening and the most important point would be that the scientists are trying to revive an extinct species for the second time or for the third time and you also have to mention that because if you say this is being done for the second time the reader will wonder what about the first time did it succeed that is the natural question so you also have to include that detail it was done with respect to another species but it uh, lived very for a very the life span was very small say a few minutes or whatever okay yeah. add all that and see how your report reads Okay. Yes, sir. So we yep. would like to have an edited report. So you can send it to me. I can pass it on to ma'am later time. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you, sir. And yes, ma'am. We have few presentations. They have sent us online. Uh, I'll just present it, ma'am. So this is from Abhijit. He is Norway. He is from. He is from Norway. One second. Can you make it bigger? I can't. Yes, mummy. He has sent me an audio also, so I'm just trying to tile it. I can't hear him at all, Banu. Yes, ma'am. I'll share my screen. One second. Bad news. This nation calls Europe, including the Shell, Italian dolomites. And today we're in. Can you hear us? Yeah, but uh, it would be better. See what I suggest, Banu. Yes, Let us look only at the text, no? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Is this all? 
Oh, yes, ma'am, that's it. So, can I present his uh, video, yeah. ma'am? Yeah. It's a major British adventure born on 7th June 1934, age 47. The Bear Grylls hosts many television series. The most famous one is Running Wild with Bear Grylls. Grylls, during his young age, was well trained in martial arts and served as a soldier in the military. After schooling, he triumphed trekking the peak title, the Himalayan mountain, between 1994 and 1997. Bear Grylls' destination covers Europe, including the Swiss Alps, Italian Dolomites, etc. Bear Grylls takes guests on wild adventures through the other complex zone. The key guest rings include prominent actors and political leaders which automatically draw hype, viewership and popularity to the series. The most tough expedition was the Northwest Passage. The rules were seen by that were ice breaking in rigid boats for 10,000 kilometers in 2010. The most no, look, it, it got cut, that's all I think. Hi, Matthew. Yes, ma'am, I think uh, the recording stopped, yeah. Yeah, uh, see, this is a PowerPoint presentation about a human being. Just, uh, he's talking about a wildlife adventurer, a British adventurer. Now, why is he talking about him? That is what we have to, you know, and why all of a sudden are you talking about one particular person? What is the interesting aspect of what he's doing? So you will have to say that he is the anchor of a popular show, whether the show is popular. So you can peg, you can peg your report or your essay on the fact that the show is becoming increasingly popular. And then talk about why, what the, who the person conducting the show is and a little bit of details about him. And of course, you talk about uh, the guests who are included. Tell me what is the most interesting part of this entire presentation? What strikes you the most? You have read the whole thing, the entire yes. presentation. Yes, ma'am. So he is not uh, in the UN, but he has sent me the video. But he can hear your comments because we'll no, be sending. Tell me, the... somebody else can tell me. No, all of them have seen this. So, uh -huh. what is it that strikes you the most? A popular person, Rajini Gandhi, this posted this, is it? No, 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 no. Yes. Uh, what in all the points that he has given? Okay, ma'am. What is it that really shakes you? I mean, you feel, oh my God, what would you do? That? Which part of it? The last two? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Ice breaking rigid boat, yeah. The last two are the most interesting parts. Okay, who he is, what is his age, all that is okay. But yes. what is most striking about this particular, uh, why, why you have spoken about it? What will interest the reader the most are the last two points. So you will begin by saying, a popular show or a show, show which is gaining immense popularity across the world and which has taken its participants from the most cold regions, which includes experiences like taking them into the most cold regions, from taking them into the most cold regions to making them eat worms on the show. The anchor or the host does all this. Then you talk about who are the prominent guests. But just by saying there are prominent guests, who are the prominent guests? Give the name of one or two persons. Towards the end, you talk about what he did. I mean, nobody is interested in knowing how, I mean, I won't say nobody unless a person shares the same interest as you. A common reader is not interested what he did after school, what he did not do. That can be added towards the end as an extra point. 
But the most important point of this would be why is the show becoming popular? What is the greatness of the show? What is the uniqueness of the show? There are so many people who post shows on wildlife. But why this particular show? Because it includes varied experiences. Starting from this end to that end. You can talk about some more experiences also. That is why the show is very popular. And who are the participants? High profile participants include the name of one or two persons or even four persons who have participated in that. Then you can talk about the personality of the host who conducts the show. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. This will be conveyed to him, ma'am, because he'll watch the video later, ma'am. Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, and next, I have uh, Rishant, and he has also sent the video. So some of the students they have good evening, exams, ma'am. So they have sent us recorded videos, ma'am. Okay. Everyone. Welcome to Cricket Sports News and we're going to be talking about a match which happened on Sunday, 13th March, Tapia vs. Amanana Cricket Academy. Okay, the toss was, the toss was won by Amanana Cricket Academy and batting was their choice. For the first batman was Nitin and he got 5 runs in 18 balls. And he got out by Yoshita. It was a catch and the bowler was Rishan. Yashwan. He got two runs in 25 balls and he got catched out by Arnav. And the bowler was Sanjay. Ishwan Kartikeyan. Catched out by Dhruv Anand. Bowler was Rishan. He got two runs in 12 balls. Shreyas. He got one run in eight balls and the catcher was Dhruv Anand and he was bowled by Arnav. Dibesh. He got 0 runs in 13 balls. He got catched out by Ashita, Yoshita. Okay. The bowler was Sibyl. Raghav. Raghav. He got 1 run in 17 balls. And the catcher was Sanchit. The bowler was Sibyl. So. Ruthwick, he got bowled by Chandresh. He played for four balls. Dunwin, he got zero runs in seven balls, wicket by Chandresh. Taran, he got run out by Sanchit. In G, he played, he got zero runs in two balls. Sasi broke cricket. He got stuck by Sneha Sin and the wicket and the bowler was Sreesan. He got zero runs in three balls. Uday did not play. So he, and he, so it was not out. Zero runs, zero balls. And okay. He, they got 11 runs in total. And we put, and they put 41 wides. So, in 7.3 overs, they hit 52, including all the 41 wides. So, they only hit 11 runs. And they got totally 10 wickets in 7.3 overs. Next, we're going to go to Tapia Cricket Academy. The first batsman was Sanchit. He got 5 runs in 17 balls. And he got wicket by Uday. Snehasin. He, he did not get out until the match ended. He got 20 runs in 34 balls. At the end. B. Yashwan. Bowled by Yashwan. So, in one ball, in one run, he got, he got one run and six balls. Simmer. Got catch out by Yashwan. The bowler was Uday. He got two runs and six balls. H. Raghav Krishna. Not out. He got four, he got four runs in ten balls. And others all did not get a chance to bat because all these hit the amount and there were 21 wides. So, 53 in total. So, W Cricket Academy wins. This is a one hand catch by one of the players in it.
Okay. Next, this is the awards they got. This is everyone in it. And this is the award which went to the academy, which is going to be there. And all these have gold medals. Others will get runner up, runner ups. The man of the match was Chandresh. He got three wickets and four runs. Amanada Cricket Academy scored 52 runs in 17.3 overs, all out. Kavya Cricket Academy scored you got 53 runs in 11.5 overs, and only three got out. And this is the show signing out. Thank you so much for watching. Is he here or is he? Uh, he is yeah. not here. He has got his exams today, so he has sent us a video. So what he has essentially done is give us the entire scorecard of the cricket match, isn't it? Yes. So th for those of you who watched, what stands out in this? Is anyone else there, Banu? Yes, ma'am. Many of the kids are there, ma'am. Uh, tell me. One of the kids, please tell me. You saw the whole thing, isn't it? So what struck you the most? Maybe that. Maybe, maybe? that. Maybe that one of them, like, I, I forgot the name. Like, it started with A. Amanana something. Amanana that one. is the name of the yeah. team. Yeah. One of the, one of the teams, they got all out. Like, every single one of them got out. A few amount of focus. And the other team didn't, only got three out. No, okay. Anyone else? That was elaborate. The score details were elaborate, which is not needed for the, the runs. The runs yeah. from both the sides. Yeah. Were much less than the runs that were scored through the whites. Did you yes. see that? Yes, ma'am. The total scored by the team in by both the teams is much less than the number of runs they got by by bowling the whites so you will say you can begin by saying in a game determined by whites the so and so team defeated the other team by so many wickets or something the intro should always give you the answer that the intro should always be very very interesting only then the reader will look at it. If you say that they played today and this person got so many runs, he was caught by this, he was bowled by this, that won't. But if you say that the result of the match was determined by the number of wides bowled, then that is a very interesting aspect. People will say, oh really? So how many wides did the two teams bowl? That is what they will, that is the question they will ask and start looking at the report. And there is no need to give the performance by all the players. It's enough to give the statistics of those who have performed extraordinarily well, those who have scored the maximum number of runs. And there was one person who scored zero from 21 balls. That detail can also be included. Okay. And this is one last presentation uh, by uh, Jashwant. So he's talking about this Russia, Ukraine, something, and uh, he was towards up uh, towards one side. Hey, well, this is Jackson Krishna, and today I'll be explaining the news about how others, other than the governments, take action on Russia. To start with, let's take a let's take a look on uh, some some other gov some other non-governmental activities taking action on Russia. Number one, Taekwondo has decided to uh, take away Putin's backlit. If you don't know who Putin is, he's a uh, Russia's president. Yes, now bad world has been removed by Taekwondo, which is the karate game. Number two, Disney and Pixar have stopped releasing movies, their movies in Russia. Number three, Europe has also decided to ban all their ban Russian people from TikTok and Europe. I mean, from TikTok and Facebook. Number four, the US has stopped releasing their vodka in Russia. Well, these are the stories that happen also. But what about inside Russia? People inside Russia are fighting against their own country just to get their own freedom and also freedom for the world. Yes, you have tried. 
Russians are fighting for their own freedom, as they are actually in control by the government. Russians are fighting for Ukrainians, but only end up getting arrested. The shocking story of a person, a Russian soldier, was captured reveals that he knew nothing about the mission. He was just sent for an exercise, which was totally a lie, and that the government has been lying and manipulating him. So yes, this is the news about Russia and Ukraine, and how people act about it, react to this, react to this country. Thank you. Yes, so he is talking about the Russian-Ukrainian war. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So he is essentially saying that Russia is wrong, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. So he can talk about uh, the number of casualties, what has happened in so many days of war, why the war started. When you say why the war started, you have to give both versions. You have to say, according to Ukraine, it is because of the following reason. That, uh, you know, it was uh, aggression on the part of Russia. But what does the Russian president say? Why did he go to war? So you have to give his version also. Only then your report will be balanced. You cannot take once. You see, the most important thing you must remember is, when you are reporting news, you should not take sides. You should not say that this person is wrong or this person is right. You have to give the news as a neutral observer. So you will say that the fight broke out on this this day. So many persons have been killed so far. And so many cities have been destroyed so far. There is a section of people within Russia which is protesting against the war. See, Russia is not, the entire Russia is not opposing the war. Some people inside Russia are opposing the war because they feel that it is aggression on the part of Russia. Then you will also say why the official reason that Russia has given for going to war. And, but what does the Ukrainian president say? The Ukrainian president says that it is an act of aggression. Why? And what is the role of third parties in this conflict? I mean, what, what, what is, where does NATO stand with this? Where does America stand on this? All these things should be included. And of course, the sanctions that he spoke about, that uh, US has stopped doing this, stopped doing that, the kind of sanctions that have been imposed. You can say as a result of this war, the West has imposed a lot of sanctions on Russia. And what the sanctions include? Include the following things. Okay? Yes. Yes, this will be conveyed to him because they'll be watching the videos later. Okay. And the one was Aradhya, she was, uh, uh, the thing is, we were not able to clearly hear what she was talking about yeah, because yeah. Uh, she had, uh, and she has sent me the thing. Maybe I'll send it across to you later, madam, okay. uh, for, for, for your review. Okay, sure. Yes. So, so they are presentations in ma'am, so. All right, sure. So, so it's to you now, ma'am. <laughs> so what do you would like to have for our kids share with us? Yeah, tonight? they are just beginning to write. So it's the first time they have written. Just keep the following tips in mind. What is first? You have to decide what you're doing. There are two kinds of use. One is reporting. The other is writing articles, opinions, editorializing, and so on. You should always begin with reporting because writing opinions takes a very long time. You know, it's not easy for you to. So, first, those of you who want to be writers, start by reporting. Write just the basic facts, the five Ws and one H. Why, when, where what okay which these five w's and how what are the five w's what when where why and which and what is the one h how all these should be included in your report what are you talking about why are you talking about it suppose you're talking about a uh, issue say global warming what is global warming? Why are we talking about global warming? Where is the global warming taking place? What are the what is the impact of the global warming? And how can we stop it? When you want to give an entire report 
or you want to write about an entire issue, it includes not only the statement of facts, but also a possible solution or the possible way forward from the issue. If you are only reporting, like that, gen that the young boy spoke about only the cricket match, then what is the main thing about, see, any, a cricket match can be, can stand out for many reasons. It can be that a person bowled very well and took wonderful, you know, many wickets which decided the fate of the match. Or it could be that someone has scored extraordinary well which has decided the fate of the match. So what is the one important thing which defined the game on that particular day? So in this particular event that he has reported, the number of wives, see that is the most interesting point. So always when you are reporting a particular, uh, when you are giving a kind of commentary or when you are reporting the result of a particular uh, match or you are talking about, suppose you are covering cricket, five day cricket, then what is the highlight of that one day? What defined the game and the mood on that one day? You will begin by talking about that. Later on you will say that he got so many runs. And uh, how was the bowling? How was the batting? Did the batting fail? Did the bowling uh, make a difference? What the fielding was? He, he showed a catch at the end. He said this was a very decisive catch. So you have to talk a little about that catch. You will say that that made a lot of difference to the outcome of the match. So I would stay start by reporting and then go on to issues. But when you write about the issues, you have to include all the important elements of the Okay. Yes. All. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. You are most welcome. Value. Most welcome. I also enjoyed. I had a good. Uh, you know, I just. It was nice to see that people are interested in news, whatever it is, whichever part of the world and whatever the issue. The fact is that children are interested in reading about issues. Good to, good to hear those comments, ma'am. And thank you so much for your valuable time. Definitely, our kids would have taken a valuable input from you. And uh, definitely, once I get back to me with the corrections that you have given, I'll post it to you, ma'am. Yeah. And uh, maybe you should do this often. What yes. I would suggest is the uh, the whatever points I have given, whatever yes. I have told you to improve the reports. Yes, ma'am. Include that. And it's not necessary to send it to me. You read it again. See, everything yes. you write, you should write it more than the very first draft is not your final draft. You should always read it as many times as possible and try to include whatever addition you can do in order to improve the copy. Right? Yes. So that is important. And what, what did I say? The most important thing which you should cover in your... Uh, report, whether it is your report or whether it is an article, whether it is a feature, whether it is an opinion, is the five W's that you have to include. What are the five W's? What? What are you talking about? When? When did it happen? It happened on Friday, it happened on Saturday, it happened last week, it happened when? You have to say that. What happened? When did it happen? Where? Like this, that small child who spoke about an event in school. Where is it? You may know because you live there. But a common reader or a common viewer will not know that. Okay, so where? Why? Why is the import, why is the uh, event important? All of a sudden, why have you spoken about it? Because the school wanted to celebrate nature or the school wanted to celebrate the day of colors or whatever, whatever the occasion. Who did it? Who? The school authorities did it or was it done along with the school, the parents, the, you know, or was an organization involved? Was there any, uh, you know, was it sponsored by somebody? Was it done in collaboration with somebody? That. And why? So what, when, where, why, and who? These are the five W's. And H, how, how was it done? It was done by children coming in the form of giraffes and uh, whatever, animals, and some of them were uh, uh, brought stuffed animals and so on. Okay, 
So the five W's and one H. Again, I am repeating. What are the five W's? What, when, what, when, where, why, and who. What, when, why, where, and who. And H is how. How. Yes. Okay. These six elements are important for journalism. All right. Yes. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time, ma'am. Most welcome. Our kids yeah. have definitely uh, enjoyed the program, yeah. And it's a good take-home message for us. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being with us. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Yes.